Ladies and gentlemen, America. Home of the that eagle who has its hair receding. The land of opportunity. The place that the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air calls home. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, I love America. I'm going there in a couple of months and I want to get fired up. So I'm going to put on the most American shirt that I have. Bear with me. She's a bit tight and you can see me nipples, but Donald J. Trump's on it and it's hilarious. Ladies and gentlemen, fuck me dead. Let's get this video started. America's also full of bloody racists, all right? There's one racist in particular that we need to talk about right now. And I've only talked about her like 14 times on this channel. And that's healthy bloody Abby. Boy, I, I thought I knew what avocado toast was. I was, I was wrong. Woo! She won't stop talking shit about Australia ever since she came here. But this attack is the most vile that we've ever seen. But before we hit <laughs> Emmy, friend of the show, with strike number three, we need to talk about this fucking turd. If you're telling me grown men are referring to their breakfast as brekkie, dear God, I refuse to believe it. I need exam. I refuse to believe that there are grown men saying brekkie for breakfast. This is Matt Walsh. He is one of the people on the Daily Wire YouTube page. I mean, he's a writer. He does all these type of things. But he's mainly known for the man who refuses to smile. And he is speaking absolute blasphemy against this great nation. And I won't stand for it. And nor should you. Brekkie is just, that's, that is a crime. That is, I can't even put it into words. You better believe it, motherfucker. This bloke right here, this man with the beard, this manly man, I could grow a clit and still be a bigger man than you, Matty. I love a bit of brekkie. Nothing like a bit of brekkie to start your day. It's the most important meal of the day. No wonder you refuse to smile, you fucking miserable shit. You get your bacon, you get your eggs, you sink a beer, and that's the Australian way, all right? You might get involved with some alcoholism, you might be in a violent brawl, and that is how we start every day here in fucking Australia. Dear Matt, I'm a 20-year-old named Joshua who enjoys listening to your wise and witty musings from the comfort of convict land, elsewhere known as Australia. However, I must protest your cultural ignorance. Australia is a lazy country founded by criminals. This is far more than just a land of bloody criminals, Joshua. We also have... Guy Sebastian. And that's about it. It is common practice here to shorten words such as Australian, tracksuit, breakfast, and McDonald's to Aussie, trackies, brekkie, and maccas, respectively. Yeah, Joshua, I got several emails from folks in, Austra in, uh, in Australia defending brekkie on the basis that it's some kind of cultural thing. I must say that I do not accept your apology. What, bitch? It is no excuse. Them fighting words, bruh. Abbreviating whatever words you want. Matt Walsh, you suck, sir. You absolutely suck. Fuck me, Joshua. What have you done? You've bloody thrown all your people, your homeland, under the bus. You've tr you're a traitor. You're lucky I'm not Cersei Lannister, and I've been told that I look like Cersei Lannister. Shame. Because I'd have you fucking... Well, I can't say beheaded anymore because of YouTube's new guidelines, so... I'd have you tickled. All right, tickled in public. You think, oh, we're in Australia. No one's... No, it's, this is a society, damn it. There are rules. Words have... You can't just attach an IE or a Y to any word you want. McDonald's is Macca's. Now, in this country, you'll hear people say Mickey D's, which I don't like that, but it makes... It it's, sounds a lot... Makes more sense than Macca's. McDonald's. McDonald's, right? Okay. Let me explain this to you. Matt and Joshua, you fucking... Hot bit to gear. If you had a friend with the last name McDonald, his nickname in Australia would be Macca. And if you were going to his house, you'd be going to Macca's. So, when you go to the fast food restaurant to smash a couple of coffees in the morning or in the middle of the night, when you're drunk as fuck and you need something in your stomach or you know you're going to blow over the limit the next morning, you need to go to Macca's. And Mickey D's just sounds like a fucking... That sounds like somewhere where, honestly, Bill Cosby and R. Kelly would, would have a birthday party. Not a good place. You guys don't have the right to just hang out over there on the bottom of the world. Fuck right off, Matt. Okay, firstly, it's not at the bottom, okay? According to the Flat Earth, we're at the top. Fucking go us. Secondly, mate, we survive here every day. It's a tough life. We got redback spiders in our kettles. We got funnel web spiders in our undies. We got bloody sharks under our toilet seats. We got crocodiles 
coming out of our asses. It's a dangerous place to live, Matt. And you're making light of that situation, and I'm not happy about it. Do us all a favour, Matt. Smile and shut the fuck up. Let's not worry about Walsh anymore. We've had enough of that bloke. Let's go back to the reason we made this video. The reason that... Oh, I'm getting fired up. My nipples are getting harder in this t-shirt. Jesus Christ, calm down, boys. Calm down, Muriel. Calm down, Sebastian. <laughs> we need to talk about Healthy Emmy because she's back, motherfucker, and it's not good. I, I thought I knew what avocado toast was. I was, I was wrong. How the fuck does one think they know what avo toast is and then fuck it up? How? It's avocado on toast. What did you think it was? Now, today I'm talking about my old home of Australia. But before I do that, make sure that you hit subscribe and click the notification bell so that you can be a healthy honey and be notified every time a new video comes up, which is every Wednesday and Saturday. Or as we say, Catterday. Catterday? Emmy, what is Cataday? I've, I've watched this back several times, and Cataday makes no fucking sense. That vegan lifestyle, years of no B12. We finally lost Emmy. It's a sad day. In this video, you are going to learn all of the weird little differences in food between America and Australia. Okay, sure, there are some differences. Let's see what you saw. Food terminology. There's a lot of them. Breakfast in the US, that's brekkie. We've covered this. Candy in the US, those are lollies in Australia. Fucking I've up the lollies, mate. You and your candy can fuck off. French fries in the US, got yourself some hot chips. Hot cheeks! Sprinkles in the US, oh no, we got a way better name. Hundreds and thousands. Damn straight, because you've got hundreds and thousands of them. What the fuck does sprinkles even mean? It's not like you... You pour them over things. Eh, uh, you pour... They should be called pourals. Or hundreds and thousands. That's all I'll accept. Cotton candy? Honey? It's fairy floss. Peppers? Capsicum. Cookie? Bicky. Short for biscuit. Zucchini? Courgette. What the fuck is a courgette?! Are you trying to say Corvette? Fuck me down, Abby. You fuck me right off this time. I'm filthy. I'm absolutely pissed off. Corgette, my ass. Fucking get that Corgette. And show it your own ass, Abby. Avo toast. Avo? Avo toast? It's Abbe. Learn how to pronounce English. Let's just sound it out, all right? A-V-O. Avo. I'd just like to take this opportunity to address a comment that I've been getting on these Emmy videos and uh, a lot of people have been saying, Isaac, this just seems like a nice young girl, like why are you attacking her all the time? And, and you're right, uh, she is a nice young girl. In fact, I actually uh, DM'd her and made sure she was cool with all of it because the, the videos were getting a lot of views. So I thought, I better just make sure she doesn't want to kill me. And uh, we had a conversation back and forth and one of the things that I thought would be great for this video was, wouldn't it be amazing if at the end of this video, she came on and we had a conversation, a bit of an act, a bit of a pretend, like a phone call. I thought it'd be really cool if during that phone call, she turned out to be a completely different person and she was mean and angry and, and like played my role, right? Usually I'm the guy that's being rude and horrible and she played that role and I played the, ooh, I'm sorry. Right, that type of shit. So I hit her up and she said, that sounds funny, that sounds fun. And then she thought about it and thought, because I sent her the script and there was a lot of swearing in the script and she thought, I probably shouldn't do that. I'm a school teacher. So because she's failed all of us, I decided to enlist the help of a friend of mine to play the role of Emmy in this phone call. And that happens to be my good friend, Willem Powerfish. Roll the tape. I'll put it on loudspeaker. She's calling. Hey, Emmy. Peace be with you, my friend. Uh, how are you on this fine, uh, fine time of the year? Merry Christmas, I hope you enjoyed and Happy New Year, of course. Uh, or whatever your religious equivalent may be. Fucking Butterfield is I live and breathe. What do you and your Australian beard want? Fucking now. I, I just wanted to make sure that my, my videos weren't offending you or anything like that. You know, I just wanted to make sure that you're okay. Listen here, you little six foot eight shit. I'm gonna knock that beard off your face, with son of Ben Butterfield. Forget vegan games. I'm your worst fucking nightmare. But Amy, I, I swear, it, it's just for a laugh. I don't want any trouble, I swear. Oh no, you're not gonna get trouble. You're gonna get something far worse than that. I'm gonna get some broccoli and shallot. Fill up your- 
I can't handle this. This is too much. I've got to go. Bye. Be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. Me dick stinks. See you next time. The lesson to be learned there, ladies and gentlemen, is Emmy, that could have been you. You could have won an Academy Award. But instead, you get nothing. Hope you enjoyed the video, ladies and gentlemen, because I really enjoyed that. And thanks to Willem Powerfish. Go and check him out on Instagram. Uh, he's, a, he's a very good man. He does some great shit. And uh, be a good motherfucker. Peace and we'll lose me the extinct. I know Willem already said that, but etc, etc. Toodaloo. Au revoir. Fuck, it's hot in here. My God. I like this Trump shirt. It's actually really fun. I'm going to wear it somewhere, but I don't know where. Anyway, toodaloo. Bye.